Good morning and welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. This is such a special and wonderful and beautiful time for us and I'm gonna show you why right now. Yes, I'm a little haggard. I woke up extra specially early because that's when uh, Pinky and Mama wake up. What's going on, Pinky? I'm milking this morning. She is milking, so she started already. Whoa! That's over a quart already, isn't it? Cool. So a little bit ago, Xenia here, our cow, who is not very big. She's a short-legged Dexter and she's two years old now. She had this little one. Hey, little one. And this little one hangs out overnight without her mom right now. And then in the morning, Pinky and Mama wake up and come out. She's not very good today. No? Yesterday she did that job, but I'm about halfway done milking. I'm about halfway done milking, so I'm going to give her her treats and stuff that she needs. So they give her a treat for milking, but what they also do is uh, they wait till it's about halfway done. That way, if at some point we don't have any treats, she's okay with... Uh, hanging out for a bit and getting milked. So I thought that was kind of intelligent. And we're using this special stool a friend of ours made for us. He's the same one that we got the uh, our cow from and got our cows bred by. So he traded us our original cow, which would have been Xenia's mom, Agunda. And since then we had baby Agunda, or baby Xenia, who grew up now. And this little one. And how easy is she to milk? Um, the front teeth are harder, but she's pretty easy. And the back teeth are real nice and easy. Do you want to try? No, not, not this video. And Pinky here has milked sheep and goats and cows. And darling, what do you think? I think it's going really well. We're enjoying our milking and she's doing really well. And Pinky's kind of taking over. I just kind of am her assistant and every once in a while I'll milk. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and Pinky was really excited for quite a while. She would actually dream that she had to wake up and milk the cow. <laughs> before it was even time. So this is something she's looked forward to. Now what did you make, what was it, yesterday? The day before. The day before? What did you make? I made some butter. She made some butter and tell me about the Dexter cream opposed to other kinds of cream, pink Mama. From what I read it takes 24 hours for the cream to set at the top for Dexter's. But our cream set yesterday are a lot quicker than the other days. Hmm. Only took like a few hours and it was at the top. Wow. But I don't know. That's just what I read. It makes butter really fast. Wow, cool. <laughs> Mama and I right now are test driving some high C boots. So she's got hers on. I've got mine on. And darling, we'll include this in the high C video too, but what do you think about those boots so far? You're like two or three days in. So far, I really, really am enjoying them. I really, really like them. And why is that? They're really comfortable and they're warm. Nice. They feel nice just all around. Feel really good. Mine are really comfortable too. And uh, I went even a little deeper than I thought I should bow fishing the other day because it was wet up in the grass and my feet still stayed dry. They still stayed warm, which was pretty awesome. Hey Kiva. Those two will even lay down next to each other and hang out. So how long do you think it takes you to milk right now, Pinky? I don't know. <laughs> she was done pretty like, quick I don't know yesterday. what time it was when I came outside. I think but. she's like at like 
Maybe like 20 minutes, 25 minutes for her to just do everything. Wow. But she came out here by herself yesterday and she said she could do it all by herself. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Xenia did a really good job. Today, not so much. But yesterday she had hay all night and then she was pretty nice and full when I came. So she stayed still. Yeah, I suppose Today she was dancing a little bit. I suppose she's got to get excited about, hey, I know I'm going to not only get the release of being milked yeah. out. Oh, I know little one. But then the snack, the treat, the food waiting, so. Mm -hmm. She's letting down a lot today. A lot? Mm -hmm. So, you try to milk out like all you can, right? Mm -hmm. She saves like half a gallon for her baby. <laughs> so the mama knows her baby hasn't had milk all night and she'll hold some back. So even with Pinky really putting forth effort and trying to get out what she can, She'll hold, I think you said about a half a gallon back. And look at this setup too. So you've got, what, well, you're 12 now? Mm -hmm. You got a two year old, little yeah. short legged Dexter. You've got a 12 year old girl. And you've got that little stool. And it's really like a perfect setup. Um, it all works very well. Hey, you use the stool too? Yeah, it's. I'm a little too tall. I have to squat. Oh, uh, you think <laughs> it'd work as like a birthing stool too, almost? <laughs> oh, it's hey, a hole in the middle. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pinky, if um, you guys are going to pay a little of attention today, um, you can move Zeke and his girls to the rest of the flock. I don't know if we're going to have that much time to pay attention. Well, I just need to peek out periodically and make sure none of the rams are beating up on the new babies. Make sure the rams don't get too violent there with each other. There'll be one new baby, so that's good. Okay, and they're, I they mean, don't care. yeah, Dodge and Jacob like mixed missed each other, you know. I know. Now instead of being with the ewes, they're just together, but they still go back. Yeah. But every time I round them up to put them in, all the babies and some of the older moms just start jumping. Oh yeah, they're excited. They're excited to go back in their pen, I guess. Maybe they're just happy that they're running or something. But and this little one here is like a teddy bear. You know, like a grizzly bear is terrible, but a teddy bear is like tiny and cute. This one here is tiny and cute. Mom, can you go stand next to her? <coughs> Maybe give her a little chin scratch or something. Look at this. Here's Mama. And there's that thing. She's gonna be three weeks old. She's almost three weeks old? And these ones decided to wait two weeks to give that little cow two full weeks with its mom and then to begin milking just in the morning. So that's what we do. It gives us about how much a day, child? Half a gallon. About a half a gallon is what we're pulling off a day. Um, Zini holds back about a gallon for her one. And she's kind of, uh, you know, it's a good setup for us. A half a gallon of milk a day is really good for us. Um, it gives us enough to do something with every day, whether it's everyone having some cereal or something like that. She's still taking care of the calf. And then for a while, Mama, what would you do two years ago when Xenia was about that size and we didn't have a Mama cow because I shot her and ate her? I was, <clears throat> I was waking up early at like, I think at five <laughs> to, to bottle feed her several times a day yeah. throughout the day. So every morning mama would wake up incredibly early and she would come over and bottle feed. And the cool thing about this guys, um, we've learned a lot about trying to have a cow for a milk cow. Um, when we had Agunda, this one's mom, we got her when she was not that big. Uh, she was weaned and um, we had every intention of doing things right, but she pretty much ran through a fence because she was small and took off with some neighbor's cattle. And he's got, I don't remember, what's he got, 200 acres, 60 acres, something, a lot. He's got 160, I think. So it just took off with his cattle 
and pretty much ran with them and we had a beast of a time catching her back so we really didn't and she had horns and she treated me like a rodeo clown and when she had her baby she rejected her baby and she still just wanted to kind of murder cow us I mean she was angry so this one we got dehorned right away and we had as a bottle baby and by doing the end what have we been doing down underneath that cow like ever since she was little playing with her teats playing with her teats and they do that with this one already some right yeah so when they pet it can you give me an example child other than that if you um, get too close to that one's bottom she'll pee so okay so if this one comes over well give her a chin scratch or something <laughs> first too They'll come over and they'll say hi and they'll scratch her chin and then they'll kind of sneak a hand down underneath. I'm kind of narrating here. And then they'll kind of sneak a hand down underneath and play with their teeth a little bit and things like that. And that's what they've done with this one ever since she was little. So she's very um, comfortable. Wow, child. I can see the difference from when I came out and you already had quite a bit out. Mm -hmm. So now you can see... Her teeth are just kind of little and jiggly. Her milk bag is kind of tightened at the top, right? Uh, yeah, but if you look from back here, her milk bag is actually not Oh, empty. you're right. So, <laughs> watch how fast it comes down after this baby. And it's just for just like a little bit. Okay, so when the baby <laughs> comes over and she knows Let's what she's it. doing. Let's watch it. Just move up. Oh, I feel it. Hey, no, no. She's got the first teeth. The first teeth. They're gonna get real nice and close, guys. Right? Really? Uh -huh. And it's amazing to me how violent nursing calves and lambs seem to be. When they just like punch that bag. Goats are even worse when they have horns. Oh, yeah. The babies? Yeah. So this one has not eaten all night, not milk anyway, so she's very excited to come back out here next to her mom and take care of her business. And it's amazing too, like the maternity, the maternal instincts of, of the mama. She knows that her baby also needs milk, it's not just us. same but she keeps sucking out but this comes down I don't know how she can hold it back and you brushed her out a bit my lady all right here you go you can come see oh wow I see the teats now hold on yeah look at how big they are now whoa look at that I told you it floods down that's crazy. Oh yeah, now look at the baby go. See, the baby did all that prep work to encourage this milk to come down. Now those teats are big and thick and jiggly. Remember, they were just all little and empty and dangly a second ago? <laughs> and now, look at that. Yeah, and see now, the difference between the first one and the This one's still not one? all the way empty. I know it's not. It's filling back up pretty good right now. But wow! I told you, it just comes down. So, Pinky. Milk and cows. You actually literally would dream about this. Yeah, I did once, and then I came out and she didn't have her baby. She didn't have her baby yet? So, how was the birthing process for you? Fun. Fun? Did you learn anything or experience anything or? I think so. You think so? <laughs> and you had uh, some goat and sheep birth practice, so how hard was it to move up to a cow? wasn't hard. Wasn't hard. Were you concerned because the cow was so little? Our, our mama cow? Uh, no. No? You knew it could be done? I think so. Wow. And then what do you think about milking right now? It's fun. Yeah? What's your favorite part about it? Waking up early and then if I come out of myself it's quiet because nobody's talking. Sure. So you get some nice... She stays more still when 
no one's talking. So. so you get a nice peaceful time in the morning milking the cow and you're providing something for the family and you're also interacting with the animals, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. How about you, honey? What do you think about this, about having a milk cow <laughs> on your homestead? I think it's awesome and we're really, really enjoying it. We're enjoying the milk. It's delicious and we're just enjoying our new experience together. It's kind of a neat season for us here, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And every morning this week, it seems like somebody somebody new comes out, one of the different, you know, a kid takes a different turn coming out and they get to do a few squirts. Bugger was out here, he got about three squirts. He said four. Three, four squirts. He's very and adamant that he, he did was four. He was really excited about that. And then I think Bell came out, did Sweet Pepper came out one morning, maybe the morning before, and she got to milk a little bit, so. And then another really cute thing is um, the little guy, Chili Pepper, will walk up to Xenia and he'll tilt his head and he'll just look under like that <laughs> and look at her teats and then he'll try to grab them just like the big kids do for milking and and then he comes up to the little one and does the same thing. He'll come over and just bend down like that to try to look underneath her and it's really cute. And he's like really with it. <laughs> I mean, if he's hungry or if he wants water, he knows how to ask for everything. He pays attention to a lot. Um, a lot of times, obviously, with a family of two parents and seven children, we, we bring in a lot of groceries. So we have a lot of grocery helpers and he was right in the mix yesterday. He was waiting at the door for anything he could carry. So we're giving him lighter bags of like chips and bread and cereal and things like that. And he was all about it. Um, I speak it often, but if you haven't seen it before um, or heard me say it, children have a willing heart before they can really help. But if you let them keep that willing heart, then by the time they can help, they still have that willingness and it works a lot better. Who you got, child? Uh, Chili and Chila. Whoa. Little little Polish chickens. You think they're both roosters? Whoa, what did yeah. find? A night crawler from last I night. I think that one's a rooster and that one's a hen. Oh, you think you got one each? That'd be awesome, you little Polish. Yesterday I picked up a ton of night crawlers. Yeah, I saw some on the porch. And what did I do yesterday, my lady? You caught five, no, did you catch five fish? Six. Six? Fish. But every time I went to town, I'd stop by the lake and shoot fish, right? And take a little extra so longer. an excuse. <laughs> He's like, I think I have to go back to the store. And then he doesn't come back for a while. It's like, hmm, I don't know if he really wanted to go to the store. He just wants to go fishing. <laughs> In my defense, all of my total fishing time was, was way under an hour. Okay, <laughs> that I was actually there. When you add them together. Oh, and I did boy. get six massive fish for my family. My first six shots with the bow yesterday, I harvested six fish, so that was pretty exciting. And then Darlin, uh, we won't show the whole process, but what do we do with the milk after this? We got the milk out of the cow into a bucket. Then what happens? Then we carry it inside and just put it through the filter into a half gallon jar. And then I put it in the freezer for an hour. And then I put it in the fridge. That's it. And then if we want cream, we let it sit sometimes for up to a day. And if we're just going to use it as milk, once it's cold, we're free to use it, right? Yep. Awesome. And what happened back in your homeland with raw milk? What did they do up there illegally? We were not able to purchase raw milk in Wisconsin, where we came from. No. So this is really cool to be able to have our raw milk here and just come out here, milk our cow, and bring it in and drink it. And for those who don't know, you have an interest in raw milk because it's dangerous or because it's good? <laughs> because it's good and healthy. <laughs> so, yep. Yep. Hey, that's what that cow gets. Raw milk, right? Yep. These ones have beards. Whoa. It's beards coming in. Interesting. But they look so different. They do. Do you think that's why I got funny hair? Because I'm Polish? Maybe. Oh my, Maybe. he's running around with the humongous form. Oh yeah, look at that, look at this guys. I had a video recently where I talked about how abundant this is when a four year old was providing for his family, but look at that nightcrawler. 
you know that came out of the ground last night and uh whoa like spaghetti but wow that's why I like birds too the reason I like stuff like that is I've got a pretty good uh, exchange system worked out. If I take worms and nightcrawlers from my property and I bring them down to the lake, I can actually exchange them at the lake for fish and uh, feed my family. And it's really cool. And then I can bring it home and we can eat the fish. And then if I take the fish carcass and exchange it with the poultry, they'll give me an egg for it. And then once they're done picking it, if I take the skeleton of the fish and exchange it with the garden, they'll give me uh, like a tomato or something for it. It's just a really cool exchange program. You guys should get involved. Uh, it's free to sign up. Find some worms under a rock or something. Take them to your local pond, lake, stream, river, and uh, see if they've got an exchange system there where you can put the worms or the night crawlers in the creek or the river or the pond or the lake and they'll exchange it for a fish for you. Um, fish are what, way tastier than the worms? Definitely, yes. Mo Mom likes the fish better <laughs> than the worms, so Mama Pepper approved. Oh, here we go. Oh, it almost looks like a little snake. Yeah. That coaching will probably see it, or maybe not. That's the part of that coaching. Look. We own wiggler. We got a wiggler. They looked at it. Maybe the yeah. other chickens will. I have one of them. I'd see if they eat them and then if they don't like them. They're nice and thirsty. And how'd you get so many so easily, child? Because uh, I picked them up without my like Yeah, last night it was really wet out here and uh, they were everywhere, right? Yes, sir. A land flowing with worms and night crawlers. <laughs> oh, darling. Can I get the bucket and the stool so Pinky can sit down there just for a minute for the cover photo? And then what do you say to close this down, my lady? Thank you for watching. Mama out. That's good, you know. <laughs>